Which is better, manual or automatic transmission? Hmm, that's a pretty interesting question. This debate has been present for the last seven decades. Manual and automatic transmissions are completely different technologies which use different configurations and principles. One is based on a simple gear pair, while the other is based on a planetary gear set. One uses a torque converter, while the other uses a clutch pack. We will do a logical comparison of these technologies in this video, but first, let's understand the basic science of transmission. An internal combustion engine produces useful torque and power only during a certain speed range. Due to this inherent problem of IC engines, controlling the drive wheel speed by directly connecting them to the engine is not a clever idea. Such an approach will give the engine a very low efficiency. Rather, we need a transmission in between so that the engine's RPM can always be in the maximum efficiency range. The transmission takes care of the speed variation of the drive wheels. First, let us see how the speed variation is achieved in a manual transmission. A manual transmission is a collection of gear pairs. It has three sections. Input, intermediate shaft, and output. The input is connected to the intermediate shaft, so the intermediate shaft always rotates at a constant speed. The intermediate shaft is then connected to the output gear set. You can see that the output gears will turn at different speeds due to different gear ratios. However, the output gears are not fixed with the output shaft, and you can even see a gap between the output gears and shaft. If we connect only one output gear to the shaft, the shaft will have the speed of the connected gear. For this, the main shaft's gears have a synchronizer cone teeth arrangement. A hub is connected to the shaft, and a sleeve slides over it. Just by moving this sleeve, you will be able to connect the gear and shaft. It might seem like a simple mechanism. However, during an actual operation, the hub and gear will be rotating at different speeds, and the sleeve gear connection is not possible as they do so. First, let's make their speed the same. For this, we must discontinue the power flow to the transmission. The use of clutch pack comes here. By disengaging the clutch pack, the power flow to the gear set is discontinued. Now, a synchronizer ring with a friction cone can help to match the speed of gear with the sleeve. When there is no power flow, pushing the synchronizer ring against the gear will help match the speed of the gear to the hub. Now we can have a smooth connection. After the connection, clutch pack is engaged. So every time you need to change the gear, you must disengage the clutch. This also means power discontinuation and an associated speed drop during the gear change. This is why a manual transmission drive is never a smooth experience. Now let's see how an automatic transmission is different from manual transmission. Automatic transmission was developed to overcome the power discontinuation problem in manual transmission, and it uses a planetary gear set arrangement rather than a simple gear pair. You can see that a planetary gear set has two inputs and one output. The basic principle of automatic transmission is simple. Just vary these two input speeds, and you will get different output speeds. To achieve this objective, let's introduce one more planetary set. The output of the second set is connected with one of the inputs of the first set. In simple words, the carrier of the second set and the ring gear of the first set are a single unit. This forms an interesting mechanism and is the simplest automatic transmission possible. Two clutch packs are introduced to arrest the motion of the ring gears. When the clutch pack is pressed, the corresponding ring gear will be stationary and carrier will rotate. When the first clutch is pressed, the green ring gear is stationary and we will get the first gear. 
If we can turn the green ring gear, the output speed will increase. To achieve this, you must release the first clutch and engage the second clutch. The green ring gear will rotate as it is connected to the carrier of the second set. It is worth noting that the first clutch is being released at the same time that the second clutch is engaged, so there is no loss in power transmission. Four different output speeds are possible with two planetary set arrangement. To learn the details of it, check out our detailed video on automatic transmission. By using three planetary gear sets in series, we will be able to achieve six different speeds and a reverse. The beauty of the automatic transmission is that by engaging the proper two clutch packs, we can achieve different output speeds. Now, let's compare these two technologies directly. As discussed in the automatic transmission, there is no abruption of power flow, so you will get a smooth driving experience. Computer controlled operation of the automatic transmission makes the driving even simpler. It is clear that the manual transmission technology is much simpler than the automatic. It has fewer components and is easier to repair. On the other hand, automatic transmission is a tightly packed arrangement. When it comes to heavy duty operations, manual transmissions offer more durability. Due to this reason, almost 80% of heavy duty trucks use manual transmissions. The way automatic and manual transmission handles the condition of braking is quite different and interesting. In manual transmission driving, before you press the brake pedal, the clutch pedal must be pressed completely. This way, the engine rotation and wheel rotation are separated completely and the sudden cease of the wheel will not be transmitted to the engine. However, there is no clutch pedal in an automatic transmission car. So, to separate the engine rotation from the transmission, a torque converter is used. This is a fluid coupling, which allows slippage, so a torque converter helps automatic transmission handle the braking scenario without the need of a clutch pedal. However, a torque converter is a good heat generator, which in turn reduces efficiency of the vehicle. As a result, automatic transmission vehicles tend to become less fuel efficient than manual vehicles. However, the modern torque converters have overcome this problem. It is our hope that the next time you plan to purchase a four-wheeler, you will be able to choose the proper transmission technology according to your needs. Don't miss our video on DSG transmission, which has the best features of automatic and manual transmissions combined. Please consider helping us at Patreon.com so that we can sustain our educational services. Thank you!